What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. We're on the highway in the third gen doing some cruising on my way to help out my dad with a few things in their moving process because they got another place and they got a quick reminder that if you want to enter to win this truck plus five thousand dollars cash all you've got to do is go to lmpgear.com place an order and you're automatically entered as soon as you check out i haven't been doing as many like giveaway truck merch plugs in the videos recently i've just kind of been putting a little intro or a little outro just kind of as reminders but not like intruding it into the middle of the content but quick reminder because i think we are down i believe we're down to the last two weeks give or take or two weeks and some change to enter to win this thing giveaway closes on august 16th so head to the website place an order open a truck we've been stepping up our shipping and our customer service through our email and stuff like crazy the last couple months trying to improve that for you guys trying to make it a better experience so if you guys have any questions any concerns you want to ask something um, regarding your order or entries or whatever if you guys have any questions send the emails over to reagan on our website there's an email that says customer support or you know returns exchanges email if you have any questions ask them if they're important questions you need answered i know i know the email's been there it's been there been watching that stuff so much closer but guys keep in mind this we usually only answer emails monday through fridays between like 9 a.m and 5 p.m and the other thing is too this is a two-person operation reagan and myself run the entire business all the customer service we do all the videos all the editing all the product development, I mean, everything. We do all of the ins and outs of the entire business other than like the full blown production and shipping. It's two people running the whole gig. Uh, so it's a lot, but we have been grinding like crazy to make it the best experience possible for you guys. So thank you so much for the support. Couldn't do this without you. So we're gonna be working on Rosine actually this morning, and we're gonna be doing a couple of things. We have to remove the insert from the main grill assembly. That way we can get the main assembly here, the main frame of the grill paint matched. That's gonna be pretty freaking cool. The other thing we've gotta do is we're gonna remove the mirrors from each side because we're gonna be getting the mirrors dropped off for paint work today. And we're also gonna be removing the tail lights because the tail light bezels are also gonna be getting paint matched. So we're gonna try to get everything removed real quick and show you the exact details on what all we're gonna be doing. <laughs> right now quick little couple things i want to talk to you guys about so we've got some parts for rosine here in the truck we've got the rosine grill we've got the rosine insert for the grill which is that big black metal mesh piece with the rosine in the middle of it we've got rosine's tail lights because we're going to see if miguel can paint match all the black the flat black plastic around the tail lights and then we also have rosine's tow mirrors back there because we're going to have him paint match those as well now they do make spray cans that are pr4 paint code that are flame red however this is my wife's truck that she wants to be kind of like her weekend truck or like when there's a meet and uh, she wants a vehicle to show up in or if there's a truck show and she wants to pull up and hang out um, she's got her truck you know done the way she wants it she wants it to be done well and of course we're gonna do that for her because that's the way she wants it done in terms of the paint on this truck i'm pretty confident that the paint code is pr4 which is flame red because whenever i look up flame red second gen it looks exactly like this truck like it looks exactly like rosane so we should be good there the only thing we're concerned about is how we're going to get that rosine in the middle there that's red to be actually flame red not just a dark red she had that grill custom made because she was going to either wrap her truck that color or paint her truck that color however it's going to end up staying the color that it is so now we've got this small detail on this grill that's completely different shade of red which i told her i said maybe use it as like a talking piece or you know maybe powder coat some of your suspension pieces little by little that color i mean I, I don't know you know but 
you know she's kind of thinking that you know making a red truck powder coating setup just a different shade of red might be a little bit weird and maybe she's right you know it was just an idea but I'm gonna talk to Miguel and I'm gonna ask him his opinion and see if there's anything he can do to paint that centerpiece the color of all the other color matched parts that way there's the main part of the grill is red the big mesh middle portion is black but the rosine in the middle of it is still the same color of the rest of the truck Reagan says that's what would look best to her which I do agree with that you know being the best look with the truck currently with everything else being that other red so we're gonna see what he can do if he can do that great if not we'll work something out we'll get it figured out a little bit of time has gone by I washed the third gen dropped off all the parts for Rosine to get paint matched like I said guys I told you a couple weeks ago I want to make Rosine a project that we do on the channel that is gonna stay so since it's a truck that's gonna be staying for a long time we're gonna put some time into that truck more than just the trucks that we're giving to you guys which I know a lot of you guys like that because you're like well shoot put more money to the truck I'm gonna be taking you know which I get that that's cool but there's also a lot of you guys that don't enter the giveaways that are just here because you want to watch videos so I'm gonna try to give some more content for the people that are wanting to see something done to a vehicle that's gonna stay around that they can see for months and months and years and years on end and so Rosine has had a black bumper on the front end for several months now actually about a year and Reagan's like I, I either want a fourth gen bumper with pods you know like holes for put for putting pods in that we can paint match it's got to be paintable first off it's got to be primed and paintable and it's got to have holes for pods or it's got to be a sport bumper with the holes for pods you know like the round ones the round fog lights so you can put an LED pod in there oh I thought you were gonna vlog yourself no Oh, you're wanting to He's eat? got an Audi. He can drive like a jerk because he's got an Audi. What's up, Squad Farm? Rose24 here coming at you live with a video by Red Cook. I totally just hit the windshield. <laughs> I turned it to you. She yeah, forgot how to vlog, guys. It's been a while. Forgot. It's been a while. My Excuse bad. my Her bad. Um, appearance as I've been on the computer all day. I was like, hey, you want to go grab some fenders? And I'm like, hey, why not? This is fun. Hey, you know what? She has been complaining about rosine fenders since I met her. She's like, this truck's almost perfect, but fenders. And so I was like, okay, fenders. And so I found a guy, basically, he's basically the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Like this guy's got Dodge parts everywhere. How many, like how many trucks were the Dodge parts could he have supplied for? Oh man, he had tons of doors. I mean, he had rows of rust-free fenders, rows of extended, extended doors. cap doors. Just a dually bed. Quad cap doors, regular hoods. cap doors, hoods, cabs, beds. He had short beds. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he had any long beds though. I think he said long beds are like tricky, extinct, just about. Right. Pretty hard to find second gen long beds that are. And he only sells like rust free stuff. So he's like, rust free long beds are almost gone. Anyways, take it away, Reagan. Please ignore the cocoa melon that is playing in the background as our child. Yes. <laughs> because that's the only thing he wants to watch. So you can hear Coco Melon or you can hear crying, your pick. Yeah, so we take Coco okay, Melon. Even though it gets annoying and repetitive, I'm sure some of you can totally relate. Some of you that are younger and don't have kids, you can just ignore that. Don't or some that. of you who are younger and do have kids, there's two bucks to that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no, okay. We're not having deer up there now. But we hardly like these hardly fit. There's two right there, and they're both white. But we picked the cleanest ones that we found. Um, well, that cleanest, didn't... cleanest is in no dents. Yeah, no dents. There were none that were rusted there that he had. We were just trying to find ones that didn't need a ton of um, what would you say, like dip Bondo. repair, Bondo, <laughs> um, body work, just straight paint, basically just sand and paint. So I think they were like a hundred dollars each, right? Yeah. So he said that. The ones that I got, he said normally I would charge 200 bucks a fender for those because they had no dents, they had no rust. All, all they need are paint. You know, like other than that, they're as good as you're gonna get. And they have the fender liners and everything, the metal fender liners, and it's the whole assembly, right? So these should work perfectly. And if you're wondering why we need new fenders for Rosine, one, they're starting to get bubbly and rusty, and two, they're actually not OEM. They're some Taiwan crap, never bought aftermarket um, 
parts <laughs> that are for like the actual body I feel like because they do not line up whatsoever and they rust like really bad like quickly they don't last long and like even though it's a pain in the butt load up your child and drive an hour and a half to pick up fenders instead of just getting on Amazon or eBay and ordering oh we can't fit do men, that for a 20 year old truck suck. Yeah, the o OEM Fitment Fenders, the black primed ones you can find online, they suck. They just, yeah. they're just, they're not good. So, yeah, that's why guys charge 200 bucks a piece for dead free, rust free fenders that they drove 10 hours to get because you can't get a better Fitment than factory. Well, he's happy. He's happy. Happy to get out of the car. That's for sure. He's been a trooper. You know, we have to, we do a lot of driving, believe it or not, for not having to drive, because technically we work from home. We drive a lot. And um, <laughs> he had to sit here right next to these Dodge Fenders, which just fit in the old silver bullet here. Lighting is getting low, but I'm trying to finish this up. But um, they're beautiful fenders. There's a little oxidation here from like rock chips and stuff, but other than that, they are straight as they can get. No big dents, dings, tabs that are cut off or missing. I mean, they're they're great. I'll have to show you guys the fenders more in depth tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to hopefully be able to take these to Miguel so he can start sanding them down and getting them worked down so that hopefully I can get them back here before the end of this week so that hopefully by the end of the week, Rosine has rust-free, dent-free fenders and paint matched. Find a bumper. Yeah, and then hopefully she has a new bumper and mirrors and grill and tail lights that are paint matched and all that stuff. I would say contact us if you have a bumper, but by the time you see this video, it'll probably already be done. So. Yeah, by the time you see this video, it's gonna be about a week and a half after. Vacation. Yeah, it, it'll already be be way past uh, due and we'll probably already have one. But um, any last words, Marsh? <laughs> I think that's a yes. <laughs> I don't, he's just excited. He's know. excited. He's just glad. <laughs> he's like, listen, dude, like, I love the Dodge Dodge Fenders, but them things just rattling around back there. Doesn't do it for the Marshman. <laughs> That's going to be it for the Fender video. We're going to find another bumper here, probably. Hopefully, tonight we can find one to go pick up tomorrow. And then we can get Rosine underway. That truck's going to take a huge transformation on over these next couple of videos so stay tuned for the rosine project we're going to be pulling off her fenders taking these ones to miguel getting the new parts bolted back on getting a new bumper getting that painted getting it put on and then hopefully in the next uh i want to say within a week hopefully we have new wheels and tires for rosine going on as well so stay tuned lots happening to that truck and it's going to look completely different I bet you four or five videos from now, that truck's gonna look night and day different. So stay tuned guys, thanks so much for watching. I know the lighting is getting very low. Been a long day, a lot of driving. We went to, I was in Ohio, Indiana, and Michigan today, driving the old silver bullet here. Anyways guys, don't forget, if you wanna enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash, all you gotta do is go to lmpgear.com, place an order, and you're automatically entered to win. Thanks so much, couldn't do it without you guys. I'll catch you in the next video, peace.